Cover Killer Nation, time for a 2011 EP review, and it comes from the band that has delivered us such metal classics such as Focus and Traced in Air. We were talking Cynic with their album, actually their EP, Carbon Based Anatomy. Now, this is an EP of six tracks that is going to encompass about 24 minutes of your time, and in reality is three tracks that involve lyrics that are fully constructed songs, as well as three introductions, one at the beginning, one directly in the middle after track number two, Carbon Based Anatomy, and one right at the end, Hieroglyph. Now, there are going to be some people that are going to have a little bit of different feelings about this EP after they listen to it for the very first time. Uh, they're going to feel that either it seemed that Cynic maybe has shifted their direction a little bit, even though there's not that much of a large uh, change that is going to be noticed here within this EP. And there's going to be those that are going to feel that maybe Cynic is just merely kind of holding back. Now, these are two schools of thought that I can understand the arguments to each of them, and in some forms of fashion, I can almost agree with some of it. However, you have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that Cynic is a very experimental, almost jazz fusion metal band, where they are really just decided to embody all of the elements, the free flow, the strange time signatures, the excellent and exceptional musicianship that is all encompassed in the jazz fusion genre, and gave it a metallic edge. And that is something that has made them just absolutely wonderful, wonderful Mo uh, members of the uh, extreme metal genre with bands such as Atheist, where they have been able to take this idea of very strange time signatures and very free-flowing arrangements and made them metallic, made them hard and heavy. This is an EP where it does seem as though they do kind of keep it a little bit down low. They do seem to keep it dialed back a little bit, and being dialed back is not a bad thing, to be perfectly honest. It actually seems like this is an EP idea that was just focused on the idea. They really wanted to uh, they really wanted to focus on that particular element of their sound, kind of those softer moments, and only really resonate through with that hard and aggressive side, only in choice little droves. And it's something that is not seen very often on this EP whatsoever. And to be honest, the absence of it is kind of a nice thing. The reason why it's a nice thing is because I love the spacey element of it. I love the fact that I feel as though whenever I'm listening to this uh, EP that I can just drift away a little bit and kind of visualize the EP and the contents within, as well as listen to the EP. So I feel that there's a nice connection there. I don't feel disjointed from this album where the, uh, the difference in tone or pace or anything uh, akin to what we have been maybe used to in the past with the band, it's not a distraction at all. In fact, it's not something that at all affects the overall experience. So that is actually the mark of a very good band whenever they're able to kind of go outside their comfort zone or, in this case, kind of explore one particular side of their comfort zone and still keep you very involved. Also, I feel that there's a very tribal element to this, something that feels very... Uh, very primitive, very organic, as though it's something where not just the subject matter, but also the music itself is being kind of evolved from the ground up. And I really enjoy the fact that it has that kind of hint and that vibe to it, where you don't really need all of the pleasures of the modern, hard, uh, you know, wave of sound, the sound wars, sound battles, uh, real war going on, Within this album, they're able to really keep it dialed back, and they're just fine. They're comfortable with that, and that's something that's very, very magnificent about this EP that a lot of fans are really going to enjoy. Uh, I feel that, once again, the bass is one of the real signature moments on this album. It's something that is very focused, very uh, dedicated, and it has just an excellent flow to it, and it's something that sent, uh, really accentuates the music very well. And the vocals on this album are not harsh whatsoever. In fact, these are all extremely clean. And that, mu and that uh, kind of spacey effect that you hear in some of their previous works, LP or EP, uh, is kind of dialed back itself. It, there's a lot more reminiscence of a pure voice on this album in some locations, which is also a very nice touch. It almost feels as though you're listening to a very space rock deftones in some location, uh, with a clean voice infused. Uh, it's something that is very 
unique and interesting. Tammy Impala is another band that kind of comes to mind only in a much harder environment, one where there's a lot more technicality and precision being executed. However, at the same time, that space psychedelia is really right there. It's omnipresent within the fusion that is going on. Overall, I think the CP is going to please a lot of fans. I think it's going to keep their palettes soothed until a full length by Cynic does uh, materialize. Uh, although this is an EP that sort of could almost work as its own central little mini album, which is kind of a nice thing too. Something that's a quick sit, it's not something that takes an exceptional amount of time, so it's definitely an album where if you end up enjoying it, should I say an EP, where if you end up enjoying it, you will definitely want to go back for repeat listens over and over again, and that's a good thing. Solid 8 for Cynic's Carbon-Based Anatomy. I definitely enjoyed this listen. I can understand the disparaging arguments. However, hopefully my argument has presented to you why this is certainly an EP that is worth your investigation this coming Tuesday, which is, I almost said August, November the 15th. Thank you guys. Cover Killer Nation out.